Hi friends, welcome to Just Home Samuel. Today we will be seeing how to make Kheera Kootu. Kheera is nothing but greens. Uh, today I am using the combination of green and red Kheera. Let's see the ingredients first. Okay, I have taken one and a half tablespoon of oil. For seasoning, I am using Vadagam today. This is sun-dried, uh, you know, uh, sun-dried uh, mustards and uh, onion and everything we use to sun dry and keep it for a longer time if you don't have this you can still use mustard and uh, urdal for spices i have taken red chili powder coriander a uh, little bit of uh, turmeric and salt and i have chopped onion nicely little bit of curry leaves green chilies and tomato for hing, oh sorry, for normally for dals, we used to have hing at the time of seasoning, so I'm using that. And this is greens, the combination of green and red kirei. You can see I have washed and chopped nicely. And one cup of cooked tur dal. And here is the coconut, grated coconut in a blender. To blend it along with this, I have taken little bit of pepper corns and cumin seeds jeera so i'm going to add this to coconut and grind it to a paste okay these are the ingredients we need for kirai kutu let's start with heating a kadai add one and a half tablespoons of oil to this Once the oil is heated, I am using the sun dried vadagam. You can, you know, you can use mustard seeds and uh, urdal if you don't have this. But this gives a different flavor for this kutu. I am adding little bit of hing as a fochita. Okay, we will add onion tomato green chilies and curry leaves together to this oil let onion and tomato saute in the oil for some time see after putting kirei that is the greens you are not supposed to cook it for a longer time because you may uh, lose the nutrients in that so by the time I have grinded the coconut, peppercorns and cumin seeds and kept it aside. Okay, fry it. This, just a saute is enough. Yeah, it's almost done. And this is the time we have to add in cooked tur dal. I have cooked uh, this tur dal for four whistles I have added a little bit of uh, turmeric in this normally if you want that dal to be very mashy there is a tip use little bit of turmeric and little bit of oil at the time of uh, cooking the dal it will be very soft so that's the reason why I have it's in very you know deep yellow color now we will add in the spices red chili powder coriander turmeric powder and salt see if you don't want to use turmeric powder now you need not to use it because we have already used in uh, tur, like the dal but you know adding turmeric little bit more is not in uh, this thing like it's good only okay see already it's given out little uh, water and I'm adding in little more water also because as I told you earlier, once we add uh, kirai, we don't allow this uh, dal to cook for a longer time. So we will cook it before that. We will just cover it with a lid and cook. Okay, after 2-3 minutes, once the raw smell of the chili powder and coriander powder goes away, we can add in the greens just give a mix and allow it to boil 
uh, for just one boil is enough don't uh, cook it for a longer time see now it is very thick you know please don't add water to this because the kire uh, the greens will uh, you know uh, give little more water by itself so allow it to have one boil that's it you can see the water is enough for this we are going to add in the coconut paste also so don't cover it uh, while you are putting this greens because it may change the color so just keep the kadai open add coconut paste mix it and again for a single boil sometimes uh, we just cook all these good to at the last we will do the seasoning but both the ways you can do it okay that's it okay after this you can see that the coat to the consistency everything is perfect now and this is the time you can switch off the flame so our healthy kire coat green coat is ready this can be served with hot rice roti chapati and this is an healthier version also So if you like this recipe please like share and subscribe to Just Home Samia thank you